All right, on our 2030 series, um, which is my home, my topping tractor, my slashing tractor we call it in Australia, this is the transmission pump and the, the housing that takes the oil from your high-low or from your lift shift cover into your high-low. Now, these two pipes here, that's where the oil comes in from your shift cover. There's a couple of little dicky pipes there. Um, there's two pumps available. There's an upgrade to the pump too that you can do with a bigger bearing, bigger bits and pieces in it. But look, mine's working fine, but we're just doing this because we're here. I'd like to show you this. So you'll notice I've taken all the bolts out of the top here. It's had a big crash there at one stage. You can see quite a, quite a bit of a mix up of bits and pieces there. Who knows what happened? Um, I bought the tractor quite a few years ago and it's been like that ever since I've had it. So, look, if we just sit it on the bench here, we can just give this a bit of a tap down. Now, there's a couple of dowels here and that's what, that's what holds it usually. Um, I might get a get a tougher hammer so I can have a bit more of a jar going on. This one here should do the job. And what we're looking to do is just separate this top housing from the bottom housing. So and that's coming up nicely. We'll put a bar in here again and give this one a bit of a tap, just gently. So that comes off. Now there's a thrust washer in there that can be worn. Ours is good. You can still see the. It's a little worn on one side, but you can still see the movement there, or the the, the black shadow, I should say. And if you need to replace this ring in here, which is where your those little hook rings from your oil manifold go, these fellas, well. Yeah, you can take this out, that can be spun up in a lathe nicely and, and you can get that nice and true. Now this next gear, that sits, the bell of your high-low sits here and the tang on here, that goes into your tranny pump here and just drives your pump. So look, that's looking okay. All, all you do with this, you, you look for gear wear you look for any hardening that's come off the gears over the life of it. Um, normally these are pretty good. They haven't been a problem often, at least in my experience. And these splines here, where the high-low basket comes onto it, look, they got a little wear, but that's fine. So look, all in all, that housing's a beauty. Oh, this gear is a beauty, I'm sorry. We're going to use that. So we have a rotating assembly and, and in the high-low, with a planetary, you have to hold one section of a planetary all the time. So that's, a, that's the held section. So this is our transmission pump. And I'll give all this a bath before we ever put it together. But we need to... What socket have I got in there? 916. Bargain. So this, this housing now comes apart here and they can be a bit of a bugger to get apart, especially if they've been Loctited on, and I, I Loctited them on myself, but there's a dowel here, you can see that, I probably should bring it back into the frame, Lance, and there's a dowel there. So getting these apart can be a bit of a pain and it's a continuation of these dowels here. So what we'll do, we'll... Just try and support it a little. And here's our little bush we had before. So we support the top. And then we try and get a bar in here somewhere.
And the idea is to, to split this apart. Now, I, I might get it up into the vise where I can um, get right into it. <laughs> but, look, we might be able to, there we go. On its way, Lance. I don't know what you're bloody worried about. Oh, it's all moving a little bit. All right, look, I'll come off camera a bit. I'll, I'll set this up in the vise. I'll pop that apart. Then I'll come back and I'll show you what's in there, what we're going to do. Okay, with the m wonders of modern technology and a bit of Bundy Bear's butchery, <laughs> I've got this apart. Um, now, look, all you're looking for here is that the gears haven't, worn into the housing here there's no measurable lip here um, i think you can see i think there's been a bit of loctite put in here and look i do that sometimes myself that's no big deal um, there is a, a bearing at the back here that can fail sometimes that's worth a look now this is your transmission pump this part now if we go in a bit closer there you can see we have a driven gear here and of course that gets driven through this fella and so as this turns that's how your pump works now in this one this is the big pipe so this is the big inlet here I'll come back out again I think I've, I've choking myself <laughs> so that's the big one so we know this is this is inlet, this is the oil coming in. So this pump would turn this way. So the oil, it doesn't squeeze through the gears here. The oil comes around the outside, around the outside of both of these, then into the high pressure port just here. So, so we're in here, it comes into this area here. This will go that way, the oil will be trapped between, if we watch this tooth here, the oil, the oil will be trapped in this little cavity. Then it'll, it'll come right the way around. And then it's released here. And we have two lots of oil coming in. So that gives us our transmission pressure. Now, look, this is just a low pressure pump. Um, I, I think, uh, look, I'd, I'd have to check, but I think the 2030, 2130 and all that, um, the transmission pressure is only around 120 pounds per square inch, um, 120, 30, something like that. So um, all we're going to do with this is, well, I'm going to sandpaper these edges here, um, make sure it's nice and flat, there's nothing there. This pump's been working fine. And look, if I wasn't doing the video on it for you, I, I wouldn't have bothered pulling it out even. Um, because it doesn't matter how hot the tractor gets, slashing, um, topping, doing whatever we do. Um, it, look, it was working fine. It never had hard steering. It never run out of high low. It never run out of PDO clutch. We found the PDO brake problem, which was the lining has come off the band. So, and if you look down the edge of the gear here, now you'll see see a couple little marks there. They're witness marks, and they're a great thing when you're working on tractors. Let them be your guide. Now, you'll see the spline here matches that. So from that, we know that this gear sat in the pump that way. So that's how it was originally. Look, whether it matters or not, look, it's no, I, I don't think it does on these particular pumps. Sometimes it does though. And on this here, if we have a look, there's a tiny shadow around the outside there. But on the gear, 
We have a. We have a I'll just tidy this up a bit with my dirty old rag. You can just see round here. There's a slight mark, just in here, and that's from this side here. So this gear originally sat like that, and you can see a just a slight mark there. So anyway, we'll have a look at that. But look, all we're going to do with this is we're going to clean these surfaces up. We're going to put the slightest smear, and I mean slightest, just a pufteenth. That's a metric pufteenth um, of Loctite 515 on there. And look, it, it's just a smear. Um, it, if you don't want to put the Loctite, you can just put a bit of aviation cement. Or just, and we're just looking to have a seal through here, just so there's no leakage. Now the housings are in good nick. They haven't been bashed about or. There's no marks on them at all, so they should be okay anyway, but it's something I like to do. So we'll have a look at that. Um, I'll tidy all this up. I'll probably sit this back together a bit later on, and yeah, we'll go from there.